Hey folks, David at JapToWin.com. Today we're uh, reviewing the Invicta Men's 8926 Pro Diver Collection Automatic Watch. Alright, so one of the things you notice, uh, or many people will notice firsthand, this is a kind of a Rolex replica of the uh, Submariner. That's not why I bought it. I bought it because it's a, it's a great watch. Uh, some distinguishing features of it is, uh, the most distinguishing feature and reason why I bought it was it's an automatic watch, which means there is no battery in it. It winds, it's a self-winding watch. Uh, a good way to show you how that works is if you look on the back here. This watch winds itself on movement. You see that little doohickey there? It, it, it's winding the watch. Um, and it doesn't matter which way it moves, it, it winds it either way. So, I thought that was the coolest thing about it. Um, kind of why I got it. Another thing is, it's waterproof, uh, 200 meters. It's a diver's watch. Um, it's durable, it's really heavy. Um, I like that about it. It's stainless steel casing. Uh, the, the crown. Is actually a screw down crown. Um, it popped there. And that's just really cool. I'm going on a year now of having this watch and it's operated flawlessly. Um, it's just a great watch. I, uh, I have no issues with it. The only issue I have is, you know, if I take it off for more than a day or two, it, uh, it, it winds down and has to be rewound and whatnot. So. Um, it's great because, and it's also a great watch for those people that, you know, feel like they have to have a kind of a glitzy watch and, you know, are all about the, the bling kind of. <clears throat> it, it really shows you don't have to spend a lot of money. This watch is about $85. There's a link for it on Amazon um, down below if you want to click on that. But it's 85 bucks, pretty much where you're going to get it. If you have Prime, you know, free shipping, of course. But, um, yeah, great watch. There's been many times where people, you know, several times over the past year, people have mistaken it for a Rolex. Um, all right, so to kind of show you, one of the, another good feature of it is uh, the, the movement. It's really known for its movement. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's working great. It's pretty precise. It's got a flame infused crystal, Japanese movement they claim. Um, one of the first things I did was I had to uh, I had to take some links out of the bands when I first got it. There's a great video on YouTube, there's several videos on YouTube showing this exact watch being taken down. I bought an all, uh, you know, you just get, you just have to punch these pins out. You gotta punch in the right direction and um, that's one of the more challenging things of it, but it took me less than an hour, I think. Probably less than that, less about 15 minutes or so. And the big thing is you gotta, you gotta look closely, but you have to be tapping out the pins in the right direction. Um, I think I was going in the wrong direction at one point, and it still did all right with it. So, <clears throat> it goes on nicely, it's got a collapsible There, tight, never comes off. Just real sharp looking watch. Pop it the same way. So, if I was to say anything bad about the watch, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it is that it's an automatic watch. Um, you know, it, it does get a little annoying sometimes when you have to. Uh, re reset the time and everything, the date. You know, you, you have to just get it right with the date on the dial to set the date. That doesn't really show too well, but it's really cool. Um, that's about the only con that I've got in it. Now, the great part about this watch is it's an automatic. There is no batteries. I'm really curious to see how long this watch really will last. Um, you know, I'll be happy with five, ten years or so if it keeps going more to it. Uh, you can wear this watch in any setting. Uh, if you had the real, you know, $8,000, $9,000 Submariner Rolex, 
you really want to watch when you're wearing this. I wear this at work. I work construction all day. I've been fortunate enough not to scratch the glass. Um, I have rubbed up against stuff. It really isn't too much damage over the course of one year. Um, and then I can wear it going out. You know, I can wear it, you can wear it anywhere. And people always start looking at me like, whoa, why are you wearing that, you know, here at work? It's kind of a funny deal. But it's actually meant for, it's more of a workman's watch anyways. <clears throat> so, and lastly, the value. It's, you know, roughly $85 for a great watch, you know, for the last 10 years. Uh, it'll save you a lot of money. <laughs> and it's a great watch, so. Anyhow, hope you like the video. Uh, like if you do, and uh, if you want to learn more about it, click on the links down below. Thank you.